make sure we, you know what I'm saying, the nooks and crevices, everything. Make sure my family is good for this chicken. What's up, y'all? We back with another batch of chicken right here, man. I'm going to show you guys a spicy Cajun country rose lemon pepper recipe right here for you guys, man. Easily, let's get into it, man. You get your chicken. Wash it out, bro. Make sure it's all good. Doing five pieces right here for you guys. Another quick good meal for when you're in college, man. You got chicken. Another good recipe for your drumsticks right here. Let's go. Your main base seasoning. Going to need that famous Dave's country rose for your chicken right here. That's going to be the first season you're going to start off with. Me. This is a really good seasoning, man. Famous Dave. Says a lot for itself, man. I love this seasoning. Make sure you get that all over there, man. Coat it on the front and the back. Let's get it. Gotta love that country days. Get it on that back side. Now next, we're gonna use the Cajun style, the spicy version. Just a little bit of that though. We don't wanna get it too spicy than it already is. That country rose is gonna be the main base. So this is kind of like that, that third of season, that outer cover, where you still gonna taste like a little bit of spice, but not too much, you know. More you, one thing about adding this to your third, the reason I say not to add too much, like this is the lightest, the lightest you'll season it. Like you can, you can season heavy with a lemon and pepper, you can season heavy with a, that Dave's Country Roast, but when it comes to, when it comes to Cajun, that spice Cajun style, take your time, like go light, no need to do too much. So you can taste more of the flavor than the spice of the Cajun. Too much, it's gonna it's gonna mix up, it's gonna mess up with the day with the country roast spice. The spice is in there. Alright, here's that buffalo ranch. Let's just flip it over, toss some on here both sides. Looks pretty, looks pretty well coated right here so far. Throw that up on there. Alright. Side should look before you put it in that oven. That Cajun style country roast lemon and pepper chicken. I mean, you can't go wrong with it, man. Have your oven ready on 450. And let's do it, right, man. Perfect, bro. You got everything coated right here. I mean, everything is coated. Right here, man. Beautiful. Just coated perfect. So the last thing you want to do, and this is one of the easiest things to forget when you're cooking chicken. Because you're just so, you know, eager to eat it, man. You got your, uh, you know, you, you got the oven warming up to 450. You're just, you're just ready to go. And so it's easy to forget, but you don't want to forget putting your oil. Make sure you drizzle your oil on top of your chicken. And this, this part isn't hard, honestly. This is one of the easier parts of cooking chicken. Of cooking, I mean, it's each part of the season because season you got to coat it both sides. This one you don't have to coat both sides. This one you can just just drizzle upon there, man. I like to do. Some people do one line. I like to do two lines because with drumsticks you want to get that thick part, that thick that thick top part of the chicken. So to make sure it's like extra glazy when it comes out, all juicy too, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is how it should be done. This is the right way it should be. Then you see how glazed it is all in that. We got the we got the oven preheating too, you know. And I just can't I just can't, it's at one sixty right now. Just can't be more excited with you guys, man. Here with my guy Henry. One thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna interview Henry, and I'm gonna interview somebody else, and they're gonna try this chicken, and they're gonna say how the spicy version of it tastes. We're gonna have somebody tomorrow. We're gonna interview them, and then we're gonna tell them how the less spicy version of it tastes. And yeah, I'm really excited for this. You know what I'm saying? One thing I'm really confident is my my cooking skills. You know, I'm a culinary artist, I like to call myself. So. Just, I'm glad this assignment is a big time moment for me right here to really show off my, my culinary artist skills. What's going on, y'all? was getting a little hot in that little big coat I had, so I had to switch up the outfit. But that's more importantly, the chicken, man. It is ready to go into the oven. The preheat is ready. It is at 450. You know what I'm saying? For best results, put it in at 450. You know what I'm saying? I like to go on the bottom brick, keep it closer to the heat. And yeah, man, let's go. It's almost time to eat.